yo guys what's going on here welcome back to another video on the channel now guys in today's video i'm going to be going over how to get the best tv in display settings on your xbox console so guys without further ado let's go ahead and let's move straight into this right here so basically we're going to go to the settings tab which is going to be pressing the home one and then going all the way to your profile right here and then you're going to go to the settings tab and then you're going to go to your tv and display options that is under the general tab now you're going to go ahead and click this and then you can pick whatever resolution you want i obviously go with 1080p and i know that the xbox series s can go up to 2k resolution for gaming and then the xbox series x can go up to 4k so keep that in mind but pretty much you're going to go ahead and go with that now a big important thing here is go to video fidelity and overscan which is on the advanced tab right here and then you want to put overrides put that on auto detect that is going to be very important as it is going to detect your hdmi and it's going to basically detect if you can run like 120 frames per second or 2k resolution whenever the case is you can go ahead and do that so i have that on auto detect and then i have my color depth right here on 24 bits per pixel honestly you could have it on 36 you know either way it really does not matter color space you want to leave that on standard and then what i like to do i like to just turn off this apps can add a border setting right here next up here you go to the video modes this is where you can go and you can allow 4k hdr 10 auto hdr uh, variable refresh rate you can do all this stuff right here in this tab you can also go and allow 50 hertz as well i would just leave all of these unchecked for right now but if you do have a 4k con or if you do have an xbox series x for example you can actually activate like the allow 4k or the hdr 10 or the variable refresh rate depending on what tv as well as what console you have as well as the hdmi connection now i am recording on the elgato so unfortunately i cannot like put my resolution at 2k or do 120 120 frames per second i can't do that due to you know the elgato only supporting up to 1080p 60 fps so definitely go ahead and keep that in mind right here now if you do go to the setup you can go to the 4k tv details it's basically going to tell you what your tv can support so as you can see unfortunately mine does not support 4k ultra hd at 60 hertz or 120 and also doesn't support 120 hertz and it doesn't support hdr 10 dolby vision you pretty much get the point right here but basically this will give you a good idea of what your tv is capable of and if you need to get a new tv you you can go ahead and do that or you can just leave it the same now also here we do have the device control basically this is hdmi cec really this is all just your preference if you want your console to turn on other devices like you can go and turn on your console and your tv can turn on stuff like that you can go ahead and check this box right here and then pretty much right here it will give you all these options so like turns on turns off other devices can turn the console off send voice commands use the tv remote and switch the tv input using the controller so i'm just going to leave that unchecked for right here we do have night mode right here i believe this is a feature for xbox insiders only not entirely sure but basically it says on the right of the screen right here night mode reduces light from the console so it's easier to sleep after gaming so pretty much you can go and toggle that on really does not matter right here now you also do have the calibrate tv so basically this is going to tell you you know what you need to fix in your display like for example right here you're going to see that if you cannot see the green line around the screen then you're going to have to adjust your tv settings and basically it just goes through the entire setup definitely recommend doing that it will you know help you address if you are having issues with your xbox and honestly i think that's pretty much it this is like a very quick video right here on just how to you know really do the best tv settings right here yeah i mean i think this is about it so guys that's gonna pretty much do it here for this video hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please make sure to smash that like button the trash five likes you guys are awesome take care but most importantly stay classy